Welcome to e know -how. In this video, we will look at uh, CMOS and or invert gates. So these are a special kind of gates that are used in some of the digital libraries. And these are actually uh, used to uh, get a certain, uh, certain function out of uh, the logic. So let's look at an example, say where you have to, so your output Y is we have three inputs and say A, B, C and it is A odd with B and it with C. A odd with B and C. So this is what you wanted to realize. So if you write a truth table for this one, so it would be like this A, B, C and Y. So now Let's look at all the different combinations that are possible. So let me write 001, 001, 010, 011, 100, 101, 110, and 111. So these are all the different combinations that are possible. So now it's A, R with B and C. So whenever A is high, that is for the bottom four, so irrespective of what the product of B and C is, you will have a high here. And then in the, in the top four, you have A is zero, but B and C, so it will be high and zeros here. So how do we realize this gate using transistor? Transistors. I know we can do it with uh, using gates and uh, solving the Carnot map, but now this is uh, you can do it using transistors. The way this is done is so we actually put one more column. First, we get the inverted function of this, and then we put an inverter after that. So the inverted function of this would be one 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 zero. 0, 0, 0, 0. So well, we get this initially and then we get this after inversion. So let's look at how this is done. So now we have B and C. So if you want to do an AND gate for B and C, usually it is B, two and MOS in series with B and C here, an AND gate. And then on the top, you would have B and C in B and C are parallel. The P PMOS devices are in parallel for B and C. So let's put that in. Now this is B and this is C. But this is not done yet. This is just an AND gate. So now you have to OR it with A this whole thing, the B and C is ORed with A. So what we, what we do in an OR gate is you have N-channel devices in parallel. So you put an N-channel device and put A on this. So it's as if, in the if you look at the N-channel devices, it looks as if A is ORed with the product of B and C. For B and C, it's an AND. And uh, for B and C product, it's an R with A. And now on the top, it's, it's very obvious that we have to put a P channel in series with this B and C and then put A on the gate and this would be tied to VDD. And here is your output. So now if you look at this, this function, you would get exactly Y bar. So how? Let's look at it. So let's look at the case when A is high. When A is high, this device is on, so the output will be pulled to low. And when B and C are high, B and C are high, these two are on, and the output is again pulled to low. Now let's look at the other conditions. When So one of B or C is low, so one of these two devices is on, one of these two transistors is on, 
if uh, B or C is low. And so you have a path to here. And if A is also low, so you have a output will be, these are on and the output will be VDD. So you got this. So you got the three ones and all the zeros in this corner map. Now, to just to realize what we really wanted, which is what A plus B ended with C, you just have to invert the signal. So we have an inverter here, this ground, and this is tied back to VDD here. So this would be your A plus B multiplied by C. This at this point is A plus B ended with C the out bar. This is out bar and this is out. So this is an interesting way of building uh, logic gates and these are these gates are called and or invert or or and invert. So we can build any logic we want using these. You can build, say for example, you could have a function where it is A, B, C plus D, E. So you could have a function like this. So first what we do is we, uh, so this is two inverts and then first you realize what is inside this inversion here. So we have A, B, C, A and it and D, E and it. So you can easily, at least I will do the just the end side. So you have A, B, C there in the end. It's A, B, C then they are ordered with D, E, D and E and this is ground, this is ground and on the top you could imagine how it looks. So we have A, B, C in parallel so you'll have these P channels A, B and C these are these are all in parallel and they would be in series with the parallel combination for D and E. So you have D and you have E here and this is VDD and then you take this output and you invert it again. So you can realize this function. This is pretty useful and actually in digital libraries you see like this complex gates. They are usually built and this is the output which is, let me write it down here so that there is no confusion. A, B, C plus D, E. This is the output we have here. So these are the CMOS and or invert or the or and invert gates.